Factorial Designs. In Chapter 1, we briefly described a study conducted by Simone Schnall and her colleagues, in which they found that washing one's hands leads people to view moral transgressions as less wrong. In a different but related study, Schnall and her colleagues investigated whether feeling physically disgusted causes people to make harsher moral judgments. In this experiment, they manipulated participants' feeling of disgust by testing them in either a clean room or a messy room that contained dirty dishes, an overflowing wastebasket, and a chewed-up pen. They also used a self-report questionnaire to measure the amount of attention that people pay to their own bodily sensations. They called this private body consciousness. They measured their primary dependent variable, the harshness of people's moral judgments, by describing different behaviors, for example, eating one's dead dog or failing to return a found wallet, and then having participants rate the moral acceptability of each one on a scale of 1 to 7. Finally, the researchers asked participants to rate their current level of disgust and other emotions. The primary results of this study were that participants in the messy room were, in fact, more disgusted and made harsher moral judgments than participants in the clean room, but only if they scored relatively high in private body consciousness. The research designs we've considered so far have been simple, focusing on a question about one variable or about a relationship between two variables. But in many ways, the complex design of this experiment undertaken by Schnall and her colleagues is more typical of research in psychology. Fortunately, we've already covered the basic elements of such designs in previous chapters. In this chapter, we look closely at how and why researchers use factorial designs, which are experiments that include more than one independent variable.